my board. We Hello. are off for the longest weekend, which is going to be fantastic because Johnny's organised it all. Yeah. Did, well, you say it's going to be fantastic, but I think there might have been a few errors already. Really? With the purchasing of food, which has not gone as smoothly as when you do. But anyway, we've got long weekend and the weather's supposed to be epic. Um, and uh, yeah, well, we're sort of heading up towards Crick and Welford maybe. See how far we get, but it's sort of Friday afternoon just before the Braunston Historic Rally and we're just about to go through Braunston. So it'll either be really interesting with lots of boats there or a bit of a nightmare to get through. So these are some of the historical boats at Braunston. I think they're historical. What's the word for moored five abreast? I mean, that's outrageous, isn't Quint it? Quintuple moored. That's some fabulous old boats. guess as to whether anyone's coming around the corner. I can't see anyone. So we're in Braunston Bottom Lock. <laughs> it's a glorious day. We thought, oh, we'll only open one paddle, but I think the water was leaking out faster than that was um, coming in. But we're there now. So, up the Braunston flight, and Oh, we'll see where we go from there. No idea what the time is, but um, we're more up somewhere at the top. Either this side or the other side of the tunnel. Well, maintenance time. We're in the bowels of Enigma because we've got problems with the stern gland. So, turning this, ought to put grease down into the stern gland but if I can get this to focus what it does is it squirts out of a hole in the pipe so new bit of pipe let's see how it goes that's not quite as uh, straightforward as I thought it was I thought that was just going to be a hang on try the other end a change of the pipe um, but this is slightly more complicated complex than that and I don't really want to mess around with it too much at the moment so I'll refit it I can just squeeze my fingers over the hole and and get some grease onto the stone gland so await part two everything you do how long would I stand here stopping everything but something so important now wondering if I'll ever have hi everyone um, well you managed to get through um, the historic boat thing at Bournston without any problems and the locks are mainly in our favour, weren't they? Yeah, no, it was good. We, um, and we came up with a group of lads on a hire boat, so... That of, all helped. A bit of extra muscle there, so that was good. Yeah, it's grand. And now... We went through Ballston Tunnel, we moored just the other side, and we're now off to Cricky sort of area, aren't we? Yeah, up the... Watford, well, past Watford Gap Services. Um, Watford Staircase Flight. I'm just picking names out of a hat now. And then Crick Tunnel. And we're sort of vaguely thinking that we might go down the Welford Arm 
but we'll see how far we go. Bearing in mind we didn't set off until midday. Yeah, it wasn't an early start, so I was uh, You were fiddling with your gland, weren't I you? was fiddling with my gland, um, which didn't go particularly well. Gland is still not quite as it should be, really. But that's... Um, Careful. We're getting into the bridge, lovely. I think I'm all right. I think we'll miss most of it. And yeah, then so we passed somebody who liked our, well, liked, watches our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> they did, they were nice. I, I didn't quite see, I think it was Nightingale. So if it, if it was you, thanks for saying hi. That's good. Right, so what are we going to try and do today? We need to buy something. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I, I did the shopping. I didn't do the shopping very well for our few days on the boat. No tomatoes. I'm pretty sure you can't get into what the gap services from the towpath. You must be able to, because they'll have a little Marks and Spencers there. That I know. I've, I've just got a feeling it'll all be fenced off. But we're going to give it a go. You can squeeze through. I can squeeze fence. through. <laughs> so that's our first mission. Is the, is the surfaces before the locks? Yeah. Okay. So we'll see how we get on with that. Because you like a tomato, don't you? I love a tomato. I feel almost panicked that we haven't got any. How can you have a sandwich without a tomato in it? There's a boat coming that has more fenders out than I've ever seen. Well, perhaps it's telling us something, Jimmy. Yeah. The great thing about the really noisy engine that I've failed to uh, solve yet is that you can't hear the M1. You can't hear anything. Which is about 50 yards to our right. So, that's a positive. Oh, it's the red arrows. So just coming up the second lock and then it's the staircase. So I think there's two boats to come down. So we'll just moor up on the right hand side there. Chill out for a bit. Just there. I do everything around here. <laughs> Son is anchoring the boat. But, uh, so we're just waiting in the uh, pound before the staircase. Can't see anything happening there at the moment. But Son found this tree stump. And people have put in a whole load of coins. Lucky tree stump. So the staircase locks. Now is it red before white and you'll be all right? Or is it red before white, you're in for a fright? Uh, not sure. These staircase locks do feel very deep. Oh, it's obviously red before white. I hope. Seconds turn into one and all I hear is your voice When the people around us disappear as they come Closer and closer near you and I Enough time 
As the lights turn down, the darkness swallows my sight I'm falling further into the night And I can't quite hear your voice As my hands go numb and the ground falls from under my feet My pulse is raised with every beat And I'm losing all control Right, just about to do Crick Tunnel. Hoping it's a bit drier than the last time we went through. But judging by the people washed, wiping down their um, seats on the last boat that we went through, probably not. So here we go. Light is on. Pretty dry so far. If I wait here for you, and everything you do, how long would I stand here? Something so important, I wonder. Compared to the last time we went through, that was reasonably dry. So that was good. So we're now off to Crick in search of tomatoes. It should only take an hour. Back, I think this is tomato gate continues. <laughs> We've been joined by we're trying to get into Crick Village across the fields. And these two are super friendly. <laughs> Not sure what lettuce thinks of it though. Oh, I'm being headbutted. The epic explorers crossing the fields. Oh, of course. Oh, God. Well, at least... No, no letters. Letters. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong, wrong one. Hole. Come oh, here. You're right on my foot. Come letters. here. Come on. There you go. Get down. There you go. You are too big to fit through that hole. You can do it. Good God. Alive, <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't reached civilization. Oh. We've been the wrong way twice. <sighs> Do you think we're on the right path now, though? I bloody hope so, Johnny. <laughs> Look, a road. The Crick Post Office. And stores. The closest we've got is a tomato plant. How are you feeling about the journey so far, hun? The co op. Let's see how we get on here. <laughs> All we've got to now do now is work out how to get back to the boat. Let's see the produce then. The finest now, cherry tomatoes. Lovely. Yes. The thing is, I know that you're, you know, you think it's odd wanting the tomatoes. However, when you've chosen a recipe, a Jamie Oliver recipe, and it's got five ingredients, one of which is cherry tomatoes, without one of the five ingredients, what do you think? What do you think it's going to be like? Hmm? Well, it was. <laughs> oh, this is... I thought it was four ingredients. Right, pub. Look, there's one just there, and there's one here. What? What could be better? <laughs> I 
So after an epic journey to get the tomatoes, there was only one antidote. Oysters! <laughs> <laughs>